we are going to roll for Allied Preparedness. So even though I set up everything, I may rearrange something depending on this. So that indicates NATO is surprised. The next thing is the weather. Now, this is a roll that we can that I put down for a house rule. And the house rule is the Soviets always pick the weather because they will most likely be the aggressor attacking into West Germany. So they pick September and we will roll for the weather conditions. And you read the color died first and it's a two. 6 so it's a 26 if we look on September for the first day we have cloudy is 31 and therefore we do have clouds ground and helicopter units are unaffected only underlined A factor air units can perform air control missions and only underlined B factor air units can perform close air support missions Air control air units may not attack helicopters or attack close air support air units for normal air combats. Paratrooper air units can be used. Okay, so we just made it cloudy for the day and that will hamper the aircraft flying out as follows. Okay, just they don't have a lot of, you know, cloud, fog, nighttime capability, but these will be. Uh, air control and there's really not a point in a lot of air control because during the clouds you can't engage in uh, you can't attack close air support aircraft anyways and the only thing they can do here is fire radar homing missiles against any American craft that come out now I do will send in two close air support runs and then uh, I am gonna electronically jam it's another form of close air support. That's the only things you can fly is under line B units. I am going to electronically jam the Hawk systems. NATO comes out with a little bit of air control. All these are assigned to the uh, 2nd Armored Cavalry Reg Regiment Battalions. They can all be forward air controllers. One of them is assigned to. I assigned one battalion with one of these, one battalion with one of these. And then I have electronic aircraft coming out as well. Then I have a couple of the, the older F4G Wild Weasels coming out. And then just be, just in case the Soviet 51st, you know, ground units fire some radar, uh, their, their battalions that go with their uh, ground brigades, tank brigades. And then I have two units flying reconnaissance missions because I like to get them out there get them flowing around the rear of the division and then next turn I can send some into air interdiction so that's what I like to do as NATO they have the aircraft to do it I decided to readjust the 2nd Armored Cavalry Regiment's setup because if you look at the 51st if they take the high road they can come all the way around Komok and get around my original setup so I spread out the 2nd Army Cavalry Regiment battalions a little bit and I put them all on the roads to block every advance that the 51st could possibly take. So I just wanted to show you the 51st I brought in. Now I kept them away from these units because I'm going to be bringing airstrikes in. Now remember because of the clouds I can only fly underlined B or underline A and I'm bringing in two SU-24s to deliver some NBC weapons and the electronic aircraft will help jam these Hawks. Now remember everything starts off the board you know in reality according to the rules so as soon as they enter the Hawks can start shooting and the electronic control is already jamming so that's the way we play that when that happens. Um, same with this headquarters. The 51st headquarters, it's on its uh, non-moving side. It has 20 hexes and the Central Group Forces comes in from the north there. So basically it's in command with the Central Group Forces off the board. 
and I use this uh, the BTRs here to just try to outflank, cause some problems. You know, they're kind of a weak unit, uh, so they move, use strategic movement. And as long as they didn't go next to anybody, and I think I've already stated, sometimes I had taken like the third. Uh, reconnaissance battalion and set it up in this area really to keep them bogged down but uh, I went this way you know I set it up this way this time and the farthest they can get is right there I didn't bring in one uh, regiment right there and the helicopter in pieces because the helicopter can be shot at right now uh, by these hawks so we have to start jamming them so there's the movement and there's no combat as you can see and then now it will be the NATO's turn and then NATO I'm going to start shifting again uh, the third mech goes to this area out there and anything with the first armor division which really isn't here yet stays on this side and shoots up there so all the third mech will start coming this way Okay, so here we come in the air round, round one. The Soviets have an electronic control. It starts its uh, standoff jamming 30 hexes away, so it's already jamming. So the standoff jamming reduces it to a half. You round up so that 15 becomes an 8, and then it's minus 1. However, once you get below 15, and now we have close in jamming, that's minus two off the rate factor and one third. So their range is now five, and this will go one, two, three. Remember, we're only moving three now. Then we will bring on our close air support, underlying B factors because it's cloudy, and my air controller is 156. Now as long as there's no woods and the same or lower level next to it, he can see in the woods and stuff. That's the way it works. And we are going to come in and this one goes three and this one goes three. Now I know there's a rule that these 50 cal guns that these units have on them can shoot down uh, planes. For helicopters you'd have a two attack for other aircraft you'd have a one. I don't do that. I'm trying to keep the rolling and everything to a minimum. Anyways, I have written down on my sheet that these are carrying MBC weapons. And the first one right here is going to be a nuclear strike. Nuclear strike, the impact hex is the unit in it is destroyed. We have to mark that at the end of the game we will have minus two for a tactical nuclear strike. The hex is also marked with an obstruction. So this plane went one, two, three. And we will bring on air control aircraft. And it's the Americans turn. Americans had two planes here, I got them written down, two were here and two were there. And that's the forward air controllers. So who was with the A? Let's see who I got with A. A has two tornadoes. So here they come. One, two, three. The tornado uh, B unit was destroyed. So basically the two tornadoes and the two ice for that are going to be aborted. Their forward air controller is gone. And we will bring on the electronic control. So they are jamming 30 hexes away. Yep, it reaches all the way up there. We have standoff jamming with those guns. And I've got two wild weasels coming in. And we have two recon reconnaissance missions. One recon comes in at XX20. Okay, it starts at XX and it's going to go up to 20. 
The other recon starts at VV. All right, that's the American Air, and then we have Air Control coming in. So it'll look like it's confusing, but I do have everything written down, so it'll work good. Air Round 2. This plane goes one, two, three. Things are standoff. This is close in jamming. This one's going to be standoff, the blue headquarters. It'll be within 30. These will go 8. So you're good there. Can't stack, not allowed to stack the airplanes together if they don't belong. Okay. Back to Russia. This plane gets recovered. The fighters, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, we might get some engagements here with the fighters. And then the bomber. He got he drops a biological weapon, chemical. So that's minus one for chemical use. And one disruption is put on him. It can be long lasting or short term. And this is just going to be short term because I want to fight around that area and I don't want to be minus one off my A factors. Two, three. It is the American's turn. Three. All right. Any firing yet? No. No firing yet. A radar homing missile shot with this. And it looks like in our cone, we're going to try this one over here. It looks like he'll be looks like it's gonna go one, two, three, four, five. Looks like it's gonna be six away. And it's in a minus two spot. We are gonna fire at these. That's the SU-27s. We have air control to air control, A factor. Uh, you don't get the plus one. You get a B. Well, if the enemy electronic control is on the board, you get a minus two, and he's still on the board. He's out of range, so can't be shooting at him. So it's a minus two, and then our diagram gives us a minus two. So his numbers are an eight, and he will be a six. And it will be a A factor to that, and that's a ten. And we will use table two. And we have a four on table two. We say it was, it was a 10 to a 6, it's a minus 4 or less. So, attack factor, attacker halved. Of course, we don't do that with radar homing missiles. So, they are done. We are going to try this one. You know, we're going to keep that one. 
Let's try these two. We're going to try the ice on him. He's six away too, so it's a minus four again. It's a six to a six to a six, but you have the minus four, so it, again it's a four. And you got a three this time, and it's still an attacker. So none of those hit them. We're gonna have to keep control of the other ones. Because even though these are shot at, they haven't used their turn. They can come around now that these are done and try to attack. Now, of course, the closer we get to the hawks, it's going to be rough. I may do that. One, two, three. Now, these are going to go off. No one's going to mess with these guys. They're going to recover. We go next, number eight. So I'm going to say, look, I'm going to take my firing cone. We're going to go eight away. And we're going to take a pop shot at this one. And it's a wild weasel. And again, he has an electronic aircraft, so I'll minus two and eight away in the diagram is going to be minus two. So it's minus four off my six. So I'm a two and he's a two. So it's actually a zero. And it's a three. Defender aborts. Okay, this one's going back. So really you're supposed to turn these over after they got hit to show that they're still available. But he's done, so he's going to stay up. This one's done. Now I'm going to turn this one. I'm going to go right there. That's going to be one, two, three. That's only going to be four away. Uh, radar homing missile. That's only a minus one and minus two for electronic control. So let's see what this has. This is a reconnaissance plane trying to go up. I have 10, minus three is seven, you have a two. So it's actually plus five at a two. The attacker loses an entire flight. Boom, just shot down a reconnaissance aircraft. I'm going to turn that one over. We're going to take a shot at the that. It's only five away. That's a minus one. Plus he's electronic control. It's going to be a minus three, so it's actually a one to one. So it's a zero on the two table. Just trying to see if I have my range of this has been cut down to yeah. We are cut down to a third. That's well, actually four. The fifty-first Sams are down to a four range. Keep this guy on the board. Three. We'll go here. Shot. And we figured that out. That is a zero. And you got a two. Defender aborts. All right, looks like the electronic control aircraft's off the board. And we're at round number nine. He will go one, two, three. He's leaving. One, two, three. 
One, two, three. They're all leaving at this point. Okay, I want to take a shot at this one. Okay, let's get these out of here. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. So there's nothing anybody can do about these three. These will be recovered. Uh, but this one, I want to go like this. Okay, so they are suppressed. Everything goes to a one. You can never be reduced less than the one. And they will use their B factor. So it's a three. Difference being a two on the three table. And that misses. We roll for depletion. And they are not depleted. The wild weasel will take its Sam shot right here. You have a two. You have a two. So it's a one plus one differential. Oh, he gets a one. And we put two disruptions on him. Uh, what's this one? The other one got aborted. The tornadoes using this for an error forward air controller. Now since he has woods next to him, he can't spot for that. But he can spot for her. You know what? I think I want the engineer. We have standoff weapons. C minus road and R and air support combat. So you're now a two. And then K L M. Okay. So you're a 2, and he's an 8. That's a plus 6 differential. And he gets a 4. And we have a D3. planes are used. Um, I don't think we're going to do anything else. We're in round 10. The Soviets obviously leave the board. This guy's just going to keep going farther away. One, two, three. Now this range will go to eight because he's not in close-in jamming anymore. All right, good to go. Nothing they can do about these. They'll get recovered. All right, because these are going to be done. They can't do anything about it. The tornadoes are done. No one's shooting them down. Electronic control will stay out. This wild weasel can stay out because, and he's just going to circle. This is the only one I'm worried about right now. It's a reconnaissance control, and it's going to go out to, I got him going out to AA-12. So he's flying 15. Radar control is jammed, but as soon as we go here, this guy says, hell yeah, I'm going to open up. Because now he's adjacent to him over the woods, but the wild weasel will throw a reacting arm missile on him. Yep, he's going to have a one. It's going to be a plus seven. Wow. Plus seven to that gun. And he gets a three. And that is on table one. Wow, just missed the D4. So D3 on that one. Now remember, they can stay out the entire duration. So this one goes to here, and the radar guns say, you know what? 
Now he already attacked for his one arm. He can do reacting arms, the F-15G, for as long as he wants. And it's like, I'm just going to let this guy do his mission. So he goes to 12. That's where he was going. Then he goes WW10. He's going to here. And then off the board. So we were just going to fly him out this way. So he recovers. So when you. So the reconnaissance flight of this one was successful. So I'm just going to circle it. So those hexes we know now, you can fly an air interdiction to those and attack anything around it. That's what I want to do. I want to get some reconnaissance planes up there because I'm going to start blasting on the 51st Tank Division.